While Bob and Alexis Saskowski anxiously waited for their son's safe return from the war in Iraq, they found comfort in decorating their trees with yellow ribbons in support of the troops. But earlier this year... The ribbon started to disappear, and every time it disappeared, I would hang a new one up. It went on for eight months, the last straw, three stolen ribbons in three days. We tried to figure out a way, a, politic, a politically correct way to figure out who was taking our ribbon because we felt extremely violated. The ones that were missing. So a very upset Bob appealed to his neighbors through this memo, urging them to talk to their teenagers about respect and patriotism. Not exactly blaming them, but looking for some answers, asking for their help. It indicated that I need their eyes to help watch the tree. The neighbors responded in a most neighborly way with a surprise blanketing of more yellow ribbons. Mad somebody could sink so low. My husband and I we were absolutely ticked and we all decided, well, if this person's going to pick on Bob, they can pick on all of us. So we literally put ribbons up and down the, the street. Bob came out and saw them putting yellow ribbons on all the trees. So it was very heartwarming, actually. So. The heartless thief, though, didn't stop and continued stealing ribbons from the backyard, but only from the Saskowskis. We thought maybe someone had um, a vengeance against us personally because no one else's ribbon in the neighborhood was disappearing. Who would do something like that? I mean, who is just so unpatriotic that they would actually go out of their way to rip off a yellow ribbon? At their wit's end, the couple set up a video camera. I was going to try and catch the culprit. Six long weeks went by. The video camera focused on the backyard. And one Saturday afternoon, I walked in, I looked at the monitor, the ribbon was missing, and I said, gotcha. The sneaky thief caught on tape. Sure. We were thinking that it was some kids playing a prank. I caught him, and it was a squirrel. A squirrel, a rodent, a tree rodent is doing this. Yep, it's no teenage prankster, but a wily rodent causing all the grief. It's tough to see him at first, but take a look at the tree on the left. There's no denying the ribbon being shimmied slowly down the tree trunk. And once at the base, the squirrel cuts the ribbon, presumably with his teeth, and takes off, scampering with the yellow ribbon in tow toward his den of thieves. Another score. The couple then discovered that the squirrely bandit was swiping the yellow ribbons and stashing them up in his nest in this tree in their backyard. We can, we can laugh now. Before it was not funny. The first feeling that we got was relief knowing that it wasn't someone within our own neighborhood. With the usual suspects cleared, the Saskowski say the squirrel actually was a good thing. And I named him the Patriot because he brought our neighborhood together. Once a bandit, now a patriot, only in America. The best part is, though, the yellow ribbons worked. The Saskowski's son is home. Chris Miner, News Channel 8.